right, guys. So in today's video, we're going to be covering the max damage BAL 27 here in Modern Warfare 3 Season 5. This is very similar to a build I previously posted. However, the recoil is going to be much better, which means it's more or less going to be effective at longer ranges than before. We have additions of new attachments to help with the recoil side of things. We're also changing up the barrel along with the ammunition type in order to get the most out of a max damage build. So getting us started here with a stock, we have the Ardent Tac stock for gun kick control, fire aiming stability and recoil control. Yes, it is going to slow down the weapon, but it's not a massive deal when you're targeting things like damage range. You're gonna need attachments like this one, giving you 29% of the gun kick along with 7% there to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. For an ammunition type, you're going to want to chuck on the high grain rounds. That's going to increase your bullet velocity and damage range by 15%. We are going to be sacrificing recoil control, but with the next two attachments being the underbarrel and the muzzle, you guys are going to see all of that is made up for, and the thing virtually has zero recoil like you saw in the firing range. For the underbarrel, we have the paracord grip. If you guys didn't know about this attachment, it is unlocked through the armory unlock system. You guys can find that through the menus, or if you guys technically go all the way to the left here it's going to be all the way at the end i believe it's get eight daily challenges completed or eight wins if you want to call it that in order to unlock this this thing's absolutely awesome you're going to gain horizontal recoil control sprint to fire speed aiming out of sway aim walking steadiness with zero cons to running this thing. So you're gonna see this on a lot of my builds. So not only are we gaining horizontal recoil control, 15%, we're also gaining movement speeds with the form of normal movement, ADS movement, and even an additional 11% to the sprint to fire speed here. For muzzle, you guys are gonna want the Zem compensated flash hider just to give you a tad more recoil control. At the end of the day, there's a lot of muzzles you can go with here. I personally really like the Zem on this one. It has no visual shake and the recoil is very, very manageable. It's going to give you 5% to the horizontal recoil control, 15% to the vertical recoil control, and of course, that much needed fire aiming stability. And our last attachment here is going to be the Crown H3 barrel to maximize your damage range even, even further. On top of that, we are getting more mobility, which is absolutely awesome. It's going to contribute to the fast pace play you can take with the bow. But at the end of the day, we're getting an additional 20% to the damage range, bringing that total to 50 0.8 meters, 11% to the bullet velocity, and some smaller values there towards movement. So at the time of recording this, I had just unlocked the new suppressor and I tested it out a bit. I personally thought the Zem compensator was better, but I know a lot of people are asking about that. I'm gonna have that muzzle on some future builds. I believe it's called the Quartermaster Suppressor, but I didn't have enough data on it to actually throw it on this build. Here's also the rest of that loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to pause the video to also copy this down, we, as you guys can see, I never talked about this. The Demolition Bass actually got a buff. You can now run two gear slots. Along with that, you get two lethals in a tactical, and the lethals and tacticals actually regen over time. So uh, in my opinion, it's still the best vest. So keep that in mind while you guys are building out your loadout. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's jump into today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get active over here on Paris. We're trying out this new under barrel while using the max damage BAL 27. Normally I build this thing out pretty fast. So this time around, I wanted to focus on the damage range of the weapon while also giving it very limited recoil. I've done that as well, where I've given it like no recoil, but I haven't necessarily built a max damage build. I knew I heard another one. I heard you. this game's quiet. What the hell? I don't know why this game's so quiet. They're pushing the hill. Maybe they're running suppressors or something, but like, I don't hear crap, man. Oh, there's another one there. Don't you turn. Thanks for coming. All right, we got to push forward. They're going to spawn behind me, but I should be able to. Got to quickly turn around. They're going to be coming through here. We're behind them. Where they at? VTOL's in. We're at 11. Enemy UAV active. I'm going to go out and assume they're going to be... What? Need recon overhead. Enemy KIA. I can't hit that clown. I'm having trouble hitting. There he is. 
Level 733 down. Push forward for me. No? Okay. What? My... Okay, I got to be... Okay, I'm on 50 ping. That actually makes a lot more sense. For a second, I was, like, confused on where my bullets were going. I don't know how I just came out on alive. I still don't know how I came out on alive. There's a guy on my left here I gotta focus on. There he is. There's our MGB. Time for this. Drop it right there and we're gonna get some kills. You gotta have some nuts to give yourself the clown skin, man. You're just asking to be called a clown. Another advance, we are just zooming, man. I'll let him have that. Let me push forward here. Get him in the trap. Get him in my clutches. Listen here, lubed up Larry. Get your butt here. I'm just kind of playing a game of flip the spawn. That was almost tragic. Need recon overhead. Reloading. Snickers coming through with the clutch. All right, we got plenty of time here to crank up the count again. We're going to give him another VTOR at 46 kills. There's my long range 51 meter long shot. What I'm talking about. Give me another. Give me another. Give me another long shot. Where you at? Nobody? You were there. Ow. Don't fuck with my team. Changing mags. Fifty two. Another UAV's in. Three piece. Oh, another one? No. Again, we're going to be behind him. This is deja vu. Hear one. Where did I hear one? Advanced UAV is ready. Let's get that in the air right now. I could go VTOL again, thinking I might. All right, come on. You're all waiting on me here. Now I got an M4 in hand as a secondary.
Up to 78. Spawn into the back. Didn't even realize that guy was there, but that M4 was actually pretty good. It was a good build. I'm not a fan of that scope, but I could see why someone would be. Oh, I got to hit MGB. This game is going to be deuces. It's going to be done. Let's see if we can pick up another kill or two. It's looking like it. It's gonna be 89 kills over on Paris with the bell 27.